Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, we're taking you on an extraordinary journey through the heart of the Big Apple, New York City. Beyond the well-known landmarks like the Empire State Building and the Statue of Liberty, lies a city that has a lot more depth than plenty to offer its visitors. Join us as we uncover hidden stories and treasures that will add a new dimension to your New York adventure. Let's start our trip beyond the icons, hidden tales of New York City. We must begin with the heartbeat that pumps the lifeblood of New York City, its subway system. Known worldwide for connecting one of the most densely populated cities, New York's subway and train system is not without its lesser known stories. Our first hidden gem takes us to Grand Central Terminal, where secrets are revealed in a whisper. That is because the terminal is home to the mesmerizing Whispering Gallery. It's a must visit for those who love architectural marvels and intriguing acoustics. A simple whisper can travel across the room. Coming up next, we will explore another gem nestled inside a mainstream landmark. Tucked away in the heart of Central Park is a hidden waterfall known as the Lock. Situated in the northern part of Central Park, near the Harlem Mere, a large man-made lake. The name Lock is a Scottish word meaning lake. The Lock and its surroundings are home to various wildlife, including waterfowl, turtles, and fish. Bird watchers often visit the area to observe the diverse bird species that frequent the lake and its shoreline. This serene spot offers a tranquil escape from the city's hustle and bustle, providing a perfect place for relaxation and reflection. Next, we explore the Elevated Acre, a secret garden hidden high above the financial district. One of the most captivating features of the Elevated Acre is the panoramic view it offers. Visitors can enjoy stunning vistas of the East River, the Brooklyn Bridge, and the iconic skyscrapers of Lower Manhattan, including the Freedom Tower. This urban oasis offers stunning views of the East River and the city skyline. It's an unexpected haven for relaxation amidst one of the most crowded spots in New York City. Continuing our exploration of New York City, we come across the Wickoff Farmhouse Museum, also known as the Wickoff House. This historic gem is one of the oldest surviving structures in New York City. Located in Brooklyn, it offers a glimpse into the city's colonial past and early Dutch history. The farmhouse is an excellent example of Dutch colonial architecture. It features a distinctive gambrel roof, a characteristic style of many colonial Dutch homes. The farmhouse is a destination for heritage tourism, attracting history enthusiasts and those interested in the roots of New York City. Our next stop is the New York Earth Room, a thought-provoking art installation that fills an entire apartment with 280,000 pounds of soil, created by artist Walter Di Maria. It's a unique experience that challenges our perceptions of art and space. Before we dive into more captivating tales, if you're enjoying this video and finding it informative, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Your support fuels our passion for sharing the world's hidden marvels. Unseen wonders and lesser legends will continue unearthing gems all across the globe and sharing them with you. Now let's continue learning and exploring New York. Let's back up a little bit and revisit New York's subway system. The city's underground is contributing to this list for the second time. Just beneath the streets of Lower Manhattan lies the abandoned City Hall subway station. One of the station's most distinctive features is its curved platform, designed to accommodate the tight turn required by the subway tracks. It's a unique aspect of the station's layout, but it is also what ended its course. The City Hall subway station was closed to the public in 1945 
due to the introduction of longer subway cars that made it impossible to safely use the curved platform. Additionally, the station's proximity to other nearby stations made it less essential to New Yorkers. It's a hidden architectural gem, featuring stunning tiles, graceful curves, and a rich history. Our next adventure takes us to the Cloisters, a hidden gem nestled in Fort Tryon Park. It's a unique cultural institution dedicated to the art, architecture, and gardens of medieval Europe. The Cloisters itself is a work of art designed to resemble a medieval European monastery. Its architecture incorporates elements from various European monastic buildings, creating an authentic and immersive experience for visitors. The museum features several beautiful gardens inspired by medieval horticulture. The gardens are an essential part of the experience, offering a tranquil and picturesque setting for visitors. This medieval treasure trove transports you with its stunning architecture and a remarkable collection of medieval art. Our final destination brings us to the Morris Jamel Mansion in Washington Heights, one of the oldest surviving structures in Manhattan. But it's not just history that lingers here. Some say the mansion is haunted by the spirits of the past, adding an eerie and intriguing dimension to your visit. Whether you are a brave ghost hunter, a history buff, or just a tourist with a little bit of an adrenaline rush, the Morris Jamel Mansion is a place worth checking out. And there you have it, a few hidden stories of New York City that will transform your visit into a remarkable adventure. From the bizarre and whimsical to the haunted and historical, New York has secrets waiting to be uncovered. If you're planning a trip to the city that never sleeps or simply love exploring hidden gems during your travels, this video is a must watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more captivating travel inspiration. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, safe and happy travels.